What's up, everyone? It's Bryce from Langchain, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up and run the Open Canvas project locally on your own machine. So, Open Canvas is a chat uh, interaction site where we have a chat window on the left and then a canvas on the right, which can either render code or just plain text. And we can use this chat um, interaction to, say, edit the text on the right. So, we can say uh, add log statements. We can send it. We also have the ability to add custom quick actions which are essentially system prompts, which you can use to uh, quickly edit your uh, Canvas text. Or we have default quick actions, um, and these are different for text as well. So we can say, help me draft an email. This is going to then render just markdown and not, te and not code. And we can see the quick actions are different, like change the language or add emojis, um, change the reading level, and so on. You can also customize the model. So you can use any LLM provider and not just OpenAI or not just uh, Anthropics, Claude, and so on. So now let's jump into exactly how you run this locally. You want to navigate to the Open Canvas repo, um, which I'll also have linked in the description, and we have a setup locally guide here. Uh, the first thing you want to do is make sure you have Yarn installed, an OpenAI API key, and an Anthropic API key. These two are required to run the project at a bare minimum. And then optionally, you can also get a Google Gen AI API key and a Fireworks API key if you want to author those models in Open Canvas as well. Next, you need a Supabase account for authentication because Open Canvas requires auth. This is free and we'll walk through in a little bit how to set that up. And then next, you need to install the Langgraph CLI, which we'll also walk through. And finally, you need a Langsmith account because you need a Langsmith API key for running the Langgraph CLI. Um, you can sign up for our free account and that will work just as fine. Next, you're going to want to clone the repository. So let's copy this URL, navigate to our terminal and clone it. So now that I'm in my terminal, I'll run git clone langchain AI slash open canvas dot git, and then I'll navigate into the open canvas directory and install dependencies with yarn install. Once this has finished, we can open it up in our IDE, and then we're going to want to open up the .m.example file. In here, you're going to see all of the different environment variables which you can set. Some are required, some are not. And you're going to want to copy this into a .m file so that your secrets can be used by the app. Next, you're going to want to set your Langchain API key, which is the API key from Langsmith after you sign up for an account, then your Anthropic and OpenAI API keys, and then optionally Google and Vertex if you want that as well. These environment variables set if the uh, front end should render and allow users to use different models. So by default, um, we have Fireworks, uh, Anthropic, and OpenAI enabled, Gemini and Azure are disabled. Next, you can specify your LangGraph API URL. This is commented out by default because in the constants.ts file, we fall back to localhost colon four or 54367. And then I'll show you when we actually run the server how to specify this port. So if you're running it locally, you don't even need to set it because it'll fall back onto this localhost URL. Next, we have our Supabase uh, API keys and Supabase URL, which we'll show to uh, how to sign up for that in a second, and these this is this will allow you to connect to Supabase for authentication. Next, if you want to use Azure, you need to set your Azure API keys and make sure these are all prefixed with underscore, as you see here. Okay, now that we've done this, let's uh, go to Supabase and set up authentication. So once you've signed up for a Supabase account, you're going to want to create a new project. I name mine Open Canvas, and then navigate to Project Settings, and then to the API tab. Here, you're going to want to copy your project URL, so I'll copy this, and then you're going to want to also copy the anonymous API key, which will be this key. Once you've done that, go back to your .in file and paste them into the proper fields. Once you set those fields, you should navigate to the Authentication tab, and then to the Providers tab, and make sure you have email enabled with Confirm Email. Optionally, you can also set up a GitHub and Google um, authentication, and we'll have steps inside the README with instructions showing exactly how to configure this, but it's not required for a bare minimum setup. Once you've done that, you can navigate back to your terminal, and this should be enough to run the project um, locally. Obviously, it will not be able to connect to the LangGraph server. You haven't set that up yet, but we can actually uh, run the UI and log in with Supabase to make sure that all works. So the first load will take a second, but once this loads, we can go to, or it should redirect us to the login page like we see here. And if you decide to set up with Google or GitHub, you can just log in right there. But if you only did email, you want to, want to navigate to the sign up page, and then we'll sign up with an email. So we'll say uh, my email address, address, and then we'll give it a random password, um, random pass one two three, and then sign up with email. 
This is then going to send your email a confirm going to send you a confirmation email. You're going to want to click on that email or click on that link and confirm your email, and then that should redirect you back back to the root uh, homepage of the app. So once you get that email, it should look something like this. I'm going to copy the link and then go back to my tab and paste it in. This is then going to authorize my uh, email address with Open Canvas. And once it finishes loading, it's going to redirect us back to the home page, like I said before, where we'll be able to um, start using the app well after we set up the LangGraph server. So it successfully loaded and it navigated us back to the home page. However, if we try and say uh, ask a question, we're going to get errors because we haven't actually started our LangGraph server. So now that we have done our authentication, we can go and set up the LangGraph CLI and then start running our LangGraph server locally. So back in the GitHub repo, we have this set up LangGraph server section, and we can click on the install guide, which will bring us to the LangGraph uh, GitHub uh, website for the documentation. We can then copy the pip install command and navigate back to our terminal. Here we can paste it in to make sure we have LangGraph CLI installed, and then we can run LangGraph-s help to verify that it's set up. So once this is finished, we're going to want to go back to our readme and copy the LangGraph up dash dash watch dash dash port 54367. I'm going to already have my Langsmith API key set in my environment, but if you don't have it set in your environment already, you're going to want to include that when you execute this command so that it has access to your API key. So navigate back to your terminal, paste it in, and then execute this command. This is going to take a second um, because it's going to be pulling the Docker container building that and then also installing all your dependencies. But after a minute, it should spin up your server at uh, port four, five, four, three, six, seven. And we should also see it output this, which will indicate that your server is successfully running. Once this has happened and you've already set all the required environment variables like we went over above, we can navigate back to our UI or I guess the local UI, refresh, and we should be able to start using our uh, open canvas connecting to our LangGraph server as intended. Great, so now it's started, and we can go back and run yarn dev to start our web server, navigate back to our browser, refresh, and then once this loads, we should be able to make LLM requests and get LLM generated responses that are hitting our LangGraph server, which is running on port 54367 um, using the LangGraph CLI. So now we can navigate to our browser, we'll refresh, just so we know we're running uh, whatever's on the latest, and then we can just use one of the default questions like write me a to-do app in React. We'll click on this, and then we'll see some LLM-generated code start streaming in as we expect. So that's how you set up Open Canvas and run it locally um, on your machine using authentication uh, and LangGraph CLI to run your LangGraph cloud server. Um, I'll add all of the resources you need for this in the description, as well as a link to the README, and I hope to see you guys in the repo.